What's up, YouTube? 2014 Nissan Maxima. Customers complaining of shaking real bad when braking. I isolated as being the front rotors, and the reason why I know is because it'll be really bad in the steering wheel when you're hitting the brakes. I'm talking like it'll go like that. Usually when it's in the rear, which is a lot more rare, because the front of the vehicle takes a lot more weight and load to stop and brake because of the weight of the transmission and engine. But if it is the rear, you'll usually feel it in your back part of your area and in the seat area. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how to replace these today. I already got the parts. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so I can continue to make videos like this to make your life easier. It's a hot day, let's do this. First, you wanna take your wheel off, obviously. I don't think I need to show you how to do that. Swing your wheel out like that. Now we're gonna take our outer caliper off the bracket going to be a 14 millimeter whatever you have socket wrench available now just swing your caliper up pull out on it as long as your slides nice and greased you should be able to pull right out on it with no issues what's up I don't even know where it's at where'd I put it Yeah. There you go. Sorry about that, y'all. Of course, when I'm doing a video, you already know if you watch my channel, it's going to happen. Let's push our piston back. A little dust boot and just kind of push it in right there. All right. They so saw I did that with an old brake pad. Kind of trap your caliper up there on the spring. Now we got to take our bracket off here, which is going to be a 22 millimeter. pad out in the garbage now I know you're probably seeing those pads that have a good bit of life on them but you don't want to put new rotors on with old pads it's, it, it's just it's gonna cause problems I promise you whether it's, it's not stopping as well or the old pads cause your new rotors to groove up it's just not advisable but again it's your money it's not my money you do what you want to do I'm just telling you how I will do it. Now, if your rudder ain't gonna come right off, which this one's not going to, I'm just gonna kinda hold that caliper. That way, vibration, don't make it fall. Now, your new rotors generally will have a little bit of what they call Cosmoline, which is just the oil, a little thin oil base to keep them from rusting up from moisture. Make sure you wipe that off with some good brake cleaner, a good degreaser. Hot soap and water works fine too. If you're doing this at your house and you don't have any parts cleaner. All right. Start them bad boys a few turns. Don't know why I took my socket off. Snug them down real good. Take the new brake pads. On this model, there's no inner and outer. Now generally, a lot of brake pads, if you buy decent quality pads, will give you new hardware, meaning the spring clips. I don't reuse them. I mean, I don't change them. I reuse them because I've had so many freaking issues with when I change them of them being squeaking or some noise. So I just leave them alone. Now, we got plenty of grease on here, but if you feel kind of dry when you pull it out, just get you some high temp. Dude, that one's good too. So some high temp, any high temp grease and just put a little bit of lube on them. This one, I'm not having that issue, so I'm just gonna leave them alone. 
to snug it down. I'm going to check the top one too, just for peace of mind. That's bent a little bit, but it's not touching. Swing your wheel out. I got to do the other side. Make sure when you're done, you pump your brake hold up a few good times so it feels nice and hard before you take her down on the road for a test drive because you don't want a holy crap moment whenever you have no brake pedal. So always pump your pedal up before you drive the car. Anyways, I hope this video has been informative. Sorry about the mild interruption. It always happens. It's just Murphy's Law. It is what it is. I've gotten used to it. So y'all have a good day. Check like. As always, please subscribe. Peace out again, YouTube.